Hello and welcome new Hugry businesses to the Hugry app and the Hugry business app. I want to show you in this quick tutorial video an overview of a web admin tool that we have for you so that on a laptop or a desktop in a web browser you can actually go in and enter in things and get things set up for your store perhaps more efficiently and you also want to make sure you set up a Stripe account so that you have the ability to receive payment in your marketplace and your store. So let's take a look, let's jump right in. We recommend getting familiar first with the business app and using the business app to enter in information for your store and products. However, you might want to check out our user-friendly web admin tool. First, you should receive an email confirmation for signing up. Remember those credentials, keep them somewhere safe and navigate over on your web browser, hugry.com forward slash hugry store. So here first we're in the login screen. Go ahead and enter in your credentials that you just signed up with for Hugry. Click login. The first thing that you'll come to is the store dashboard. This gives you an idea and an overview of some sales, total orders, delivery information, uh, what's pending, received or completed, um, sales statistics, and most purchased products. Then let's go over and you can take a look. You've got orders. You can take a look at what orders are lined up for you right now. Product inventory is where we're going to go to enter in products. Whether or not you're creating products using the Hugry Business app on the phone or you're using the admin web-based tool, they will show up in the database and on the Hugry Marketplace the same way. Options. Options, you want to set up options for checkout and you can apply these to any of your individual products that you're creating. Category activation is the next one down. You want to take a look at uh, what categories you've enabled for your store. Then you can apply these categories to each product as is needed so that your customers can easily filter through categories that you create for your own store. Category activation just means that you need to be able to at least create one default menu so that you can activate the categories. TR codes. Clicking on the TR code section, you can view or delete, but do not edit your TR codes here. The most important part of this uh, section is being able to click up here and be able to print out your custom generated store QR code, which is your TR tag. Your TR code is what you scan with the TR tag scanning tool in the business app to create geo tags for your planting projects. Okay, let's go down to system now. Um, delivery, you would click on that to set up a zone for your delivery settings. Um, the zone means anyone inside of this radius is going to be able to receive delivery options in their checkout from you. Um, it's also going to be how far you're going to come up on the map. Um, cre creating one zone is all you need. And if you're going to edit that zone, you can click on the edit tool here. And the way to expand the zone, put your cursor right over here, over this dot and you can drag the difference that you want for miles or kilometers for the radius of your delivery uh, in your settings here. Stripe Connect is also important to do here on the web tool and you can click on connect with Stripe. We have a link for on our website with uh, further steps in what to expect and what to have ready when you're set setting up an account with Stripe. Your customers would have the option to use a card or PayPal for paying for their products from your store or your services, but uh, you will have to set up a Stripe account to receive payment on your end. Let's go to reports. If you click on products, products purchased, you can see here which products you've sold and how many you've sold so that you know when you need to restock. 